the answer to the question everybody wants to know. LeBron, what's your decision? Um, in this fall, man, it's, it's, it's very tough. Um, in this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. Miami Heat. That was the conclusion you woke up with this morning. That was the conclusion I woke up with this morning. Why? But we also know you three kings came down here to win championships. Not one, championships. Not two. LeBron, tell us about that. Not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. Oh. Hey. And when I say that, and when I say that, I really believe it. Miami Heat, a stunning ending to one of the more compelling seasons in NBA history. A bitter finish to a year that was really championship or failure, according to most people, including the Miami Heat players. And now it's going to be a long, painful summer before they get a chance to respond. As we said, they came together here in the Eastern Conference playoffs, but it all came apart after taking a two to one lead in his best of seven series. But you got the best starting five in the playoffs in the Miami Heat. But also the Heat has the best defense in the playoffs. I just think that that extra gear, especially with these extra days off and Dwayne Wade to get his legs back mm -hmm. under him, I think that heart inside their chest and how much they're starving for it, I got to give Miami the edge wow. and, and probably seven games. Seven games. Yes. We agree. Water under the but bridge. Given that, I am still a little more sold on the Heatles than I am on Mark Cuban's team. Hmm. Because those Dallas Mavericks, they fell behind three times hugely to the 22 year olds from Oklahoma City. Let's not forget that. Yeah. And in the previous round, and you were there, and I wasn't there. Glad. Kobe hit the wall in those four games. He, he hit it, what we saw old Kobe, physically, mentally, emotionally. And the Dallas Mavericks benefited greatly because of that. And a majority of analysts, even on this network, picked the Portland tra Trailblazers, the underdogs, to beat the Dallas Mavericks in the first round. So let's keep all that in perspective. So I'll go Heat, just because the, it turns to 2-3-2 two, two this time. Yep. I'll go Easy. Heat in six, one game better than your seven. All right, well done. At four, Wade. It's good. Three-pointer for Wade. And the Heat's lead back up to six. Wade on the pull-up. Puts it in. Dwayne Wade answers back. And the Heat go back up by two. Get another big road win. Dwayne Wade leading the way down the stretch. He's with Doris. He certainly did, Mike. With the exception of the Bosch, Bosch game winner, you made every big shot. How much responsibility in tough circumstances do you feel? I feel a lot. Um, I've been here before. You know, and my teammates said they wanted me to get the ball. Um, last game, you know, we kind of went away from getting me the ball down the stretch in the spots that, you know, either got a double or I'm able to get a shot off. So tonight, just trying to be aggressive. Um, I didn't shoot it every time. You know, I passed it all to my teammates. So this is a total win. You know, if I could say one thing, we wanted to win a game on the defensive end of the floor, and it came down to getting a stop. And the Miami Heat come right back with a road win to take the lead in this best of seven series. Way the winner of tonight's finals player of the game vote presented by T-Mobile. Thanks for voting. Be sure to tune in to uh, game four on Tuesday. Even though we up 2-1, I, I still feel like our back is against the wall. And this is a must-win game. Oh. As Wade took over with the scoring, James, tough shot. That one goes. That's eight offensive rebounds already. You know, we can't do this shit in front of people, though. James has had his hand on a number of passes. Terry deflects it out of bounds. And if you don't get along, there comes a point where you've got to stop sugarcoating it. James, James up and under with the left hand, won't go. Gets his own. I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. <laughs> turnovers, averaging 21 points off the Dallas turnovers. He's got to stretch that defense because of the length and the strength. Oh. With quick, James misses both free throws. I know you talked about it, Adam. What, Garbage. What did that start with for you, no? Terrell? Garbage. James fires away. Short. And the way he gets it back up top to James. James fakes, drives, pull up jumper. Won't go. Definitely didn't um, play great offensively. Um, you know, I got to do a better job of 
um, you know, be more assertive offensively, you know, not, you know, stand out of rhythm offensively the whole game. Um, but I think, you know, one thing I just try to concentrate is, you know, if I get two guys on me, you know, just try to make my teammates better, hit those guys for open looks, and they made some great looks. But at the same time, I got to keep myself in rhythm uh, while I'm doing that as well. Not one championship. Not two. LeBron, tell us about that. Not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. For eight right. points. An NBA panic attack, going blind under the pressure. 0 for 1 in the fourth quarter with two killer turnovers. Are you kidding me? On the NBA's biggest stage, in LeBron James' biggest moment, once again, he was exposed for how few superstar intangibles he has. Most talented player in the NBA, but no killer instinct, no rising to the biggest occasions. I still say the reason he chose to go to Miami was, that so, was so Dwayne Wade could win him a ring or three or four. And up nine with 10 minutes to go, it sure looked like Dwayne Wade was taking LeBron on his first championship ride. So. I'm not going to criticize LeBron for not scoring in this game because I don't expect him to score big in a game like this. Yeah, he, he got nervous handed again, started bricking shots. He was even missing layups in the first half. What shocked me was, was that LeBron James went comatose on defense after Jason Terry had called him out the day before. He went deadheaded on defense in the fourth quarter and let Jason Terry get loose for eight points that what should have been maybe 10 or 12 or 14 points in the fourth quarter. And finally, it, I, I don't mind, again, that LeBron doesn't shoot, but I do mind that as the point guard of this team, he quit creating shots in the fourth quarter. Not one time did he get in the lane and create an easier shot for a Dwayne Wade who was getting double and triple teamed the whole fourth quarter. You're on, you're on the precipice of winning a title. Up three to one, yep. right? I mean, it's a big game. LeBron before the game, we saw the video. We should be playing like our backs are against the wall, even though we're up two to one. Remember he told everybody? And yet, in the fourth quarter especially, it was like a Weir's uh, Waldo. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know he was in the game. I'm looking for him, and you're right. There wasn't just, I think people can live with having a bad night, shooting, playing, making some mistakes, doing things, but he just was disengaged. How can you be disengaged in the biggest game to put your foot on the Dallas Mavericks neck and go up three to one not to be engaged? James back on Terry. One dribble, pull up, puts it in. Extraordinary tonight. 56 for Miami, 56 for Dallas. Terry wide open for three. Bang! Denial again from Hasman. Shot clock at five. Terry the drive. Out to Kidd. Kidd for three. It's good! Mavericks by five. Timeout Miami. Vitsky wants the ball. Haslam again. Excellent ball denial. Terry a long three. Bang! Jason Terry gives the Mavericks a seven-point lead with 33 seconds remaining. Adrian, you didn't go down like that, huh? He got cooked. <laughs> Are you surprised? Am I, I told everybody he was going to get cooked. LeBron, you called this game the, the biggest of your career. Uh, are, are you struggling at all with the pressure of the finals, the pressure of the, the fourth quarter? Uh, I don't think so. I don't believe so. Uh, no, I'm not. Um, you know, we, as a team, we played, played good enough to win again. Um, put ourselves in position to win down the stretch. And, um, you know, everyone, guys made plays. They just made a few more than we did. Um, you know, and that's what it came down to. He got cooked. Mm. I don't care about that. He got cooked. Stewart has some fun. Get into his defense because the key is, can he stop Jason Terry? Kick comes the other way, throws it ahead to Terry. James is back. Terry's jump shot is good. And Terry off the bench, three for three from the field. Terry for three. That's good. Right now for the Dallas Mavericks. Terry trying to draw the foul. Boy, Terry, 14 points in 14 minutes. Better looks tonight than many times in this series. Terry for three. Jason Terry, 17 first half points. Can he stop Jason Terry? Has a kid coming the other way. 
Terry pull up. Terry again. Eight of ten from the field. Because this is what you dreamed of. Terry high off the glass. 21 points for Terry. That's away. Seven to shoot. Terry on the pull up. Jason Terry again. 24 points. And the Heat will not foul. Sean Marion dribbles it out. And the celebration will begin. The Dallas Mavericks are NBA champions. The first title in franchise history. And then when you do something as crazy as I did, you got to back it up. <laughs> you backed it up for sure. I showed Coach, I'm serious, baby. We're going to win it all this year. Right here. I got a tattoo to prove it. Oh, did y'all hit me, Carl? I think I'm sick. <coughs> 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 hey, this weather, man. Weather's crazy. It's hard to go from 85 degree weather, man, go to 90. <laughs> <laughs> Let's switch. Oh, 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 Chip or failure, according to most people, including the Miami Heat players. And now it's going to be a long, painful summer before they get a chance to respond. As we said, they came together here in the Eastern Conference playoffs, but it all came apart after taking a 2-1 to lead in his best-of-seven series. And listen, Skip... It has it, it's got me to the point. I never dreamed that I would see LeBron James not show up in the fourth quarter the way he did for four straight games in the NBA Finals. But then to come out and to say what he said in the aftermath of that press conference, people are just going to go back to their regular old lives. And to walk around all summer long, city to city, state to state, wherever he is, big fat smile on his face like, it's no big deal that we lost and I embarrassed myself in the NBA Finals. It's no big deal. It is. I, I can't take it no more. I, I, enough. I, I'm shocked. Enough. Yep, I'm shocked. Enough. Right Stephen A. You got to get it done.